This is Challenges, my high-risk hardcore Iron Man that will take on your challenges as I progress the account and eventually unlock every single item from the wilderness. However, if I die, the series ends. I want to go back to the wilderness as soon as possible and to do so we're gonna need two things. 55 crafting so we can make dragonstone rings and then we need to turn this ring into a charge ring of wealth 53 crafting 54 crafting there we have it 55 we have now made ourselves our first dragonstone ring and there we go we now have ourselves eight ring of wealth now for the scary part we need to take these rings into the fountain of rune a very scary place I am C Engineer and I'm going to the Fountain of Rune to charge my rings. There we go, we got the rings. And we're out. So now as you can see we do have our Ring of Wealth. We can now teleport from 30 Wilderness with just two clicks. And I am now ready to do some wilderness tasks. And our first wilderness task in today's episode is going to be... Skeleton. Who's this level 76 here? Kill him! He's dead! The bot is dead! Pinkbook3407 is dead! And that will be 66 Slayer. 82 hit points and 80 combat. And that's a wilderness task completed. Second task... Bandits, that's another task completed. Scorpions, I keep getting these easy tasks. And that's a scorpion task completed. Another task for Hellhounds. Hell yeah, our first Laren's key of the video. Many more to come. Four tasks have been completed. Five wilderness tasks have been completed for 25 points. From now on moving forward, we're gonna get these points really quickly. Six tasks, 25 more points. Task number 7 for another 25 points. Finally, we got our second Laren's Key from Ice Giants this time. Oh, back to back. Task number 8 for another 25 points. We are soon rank 1 on Trailblazer. Another 25 points, thank you very much. I decided to complete the Haunted Mines for the Solve Amulet. This helps me kill a lot of the undead creatures in the wilderness. And we got 45 strength as well. We got 67 Slayer from getting from killing Tarn. Oh, 90 range while getting our imbued for the Solve Amulet. And we can now imbue our Solve Amulet. E. Ah, oh, Bracelet of Ethereum from the Revenant Tad. This Solve Amulet I just got actually gives me 15% damage boost on Revenant. So this is gonna help me a lot for this grind. And that's another task completed for 125 points. 10 willy task in a row. And this is what the looting bag is looking like. A lot of bracelets and some high alts as well. 25 more points. And that's another 25 points. And that's another 25 points. I do casually go on these birdhouse rounds. And now I've casually gotten 60 hunter. Yeah, I've been doing a lot of skilling in general in PvP worlds. And there we go, 50 herb lore. I'm definitely not scouting for PvP hard crimes, by the way. That's definitely not happening. My next Slayer task is here in the new Wilderness Slayer dungeon. And one thing I love about this dungeon is the fact that there's a 15% increased drop rate of the Laren's Key. Another task has been completed for 25 more points. And this task, we actually got 4 Laren's Keys. And now we do have a total of 7 Laren's Keys. We are actually gonna open them right now hopefully we get lucky the chance of getting a dagon high piece is 1 in 86 and i've opened a few lands keys already maybe today is the day we actually get lucky yes we got the dagon i had oh my god we got a piece such a great item yes we got an item yes uncut rubies and Ranner Seeds, alright, I'm very happy with this. We got the Dagon I had on 21 kill count. Let's see here, what's in the looting bag from 7 chests? 3 mil worth of items. Uh, I like the uncuts, I like the hat and the Ranner Seeds, very good. Ah, oh, look at me now. I look pretty scary. Taking a short break from Willan's Lay, we're gonna get ourselves the Fire Cape, I think it's time. Alright, no struggle at all. We got ourselves like Fire Cape, look at that. 
a beautiful little fire cape. And now that we have unlocked the fire cape, we can use the sulfur vent for our cooking next to a bank chest. We start at 62 cooking. I'll see you guys when I'm 70 cooking. And I'm definitely not doing this in a PvP world to scout for PvP locked hardcore Iron Man. That's definitely not the case here. And there we have it, 70 cooking. It is time for me to go back to the wilderness and this time to get myself another shard piece. I have decided that I am going to the Chaos Fanatic. Here I can get myself the Malediction Shard 1, the Odium Shard 1 and the Pet Chaos Elemental. However, this boss is located in a very risky location, right here. And keep in mind, I cannot teleport away from this location. Let's kill number one, Split Bark Body. That's an item I don't have, thank you very much. Oh, it's a main, that's not good. Should probably hop here. Hey, Split Bark Legs. Now we got the body and the leg. I mean, I guess the fashion scape is nice, but Mystic is obviously a lot better. I decided to bring my cannon here. Usually it's not that good to bring a cannon to this boss, but because I've not seen a single peak here, meaning I don't need to hop worlds, this cannon will speed up my kills very, very quickly. And it's dead, just like that. For the Odium, Odium Shard 1. 42 kill count, but we have just started. I'm gonna stay here for a while. That's our 11th wilderness item unlocked. All right, I found the perfect place to use the cannon. Look at it. Attack the Chaos Fanatic during his spawn, and then run to this tile. It's gonna move there, and then my cannon is gonna hit twice every round. Look at that, two hits every single time. And that's 50 kill count. This is a very special level because now we are officially on the boss high scores and if I log out people will be able to track the fact that I am doing doing Chaos Fanatic um, that's a first a sinister key I don't really know where I used them but thank you Hey, an ancient staff now we got a spare one he's using me as a killing slave he, he's bad. I think he's using me he just wants me to kill him every single time we got 86 kill count it's finally time to log out and update the high scores Alright, we got the high scores up here, the Chaos Fanatic for Hardcore Iron Man, if we update it. You can see that we are currently top 10, rank number 9. And if we kill, what is it, 15 more, we'll be ranked top 5. Hey, Our second Odium Shard 1, sadly it's not the Malediction. And this is kill count 101, a very important kill count because if I log out right now, you're gonna see that we are currently rank 5 on the high scores. I got this hard clue scroll from uh, the Chaos Fanatic. Uh, I think this might be the casket. Nope. The only thing I can think of that I want is the dragon hide boots. And we get, ooh, purple sweets, thank you. Can you just die? Thank you. Hey, we finally got it! We are done here. We are done with this boss. We got the boat shards. Malediction Ward 1 has been completed. Put the shard in. Close scroll. Let's go! We are done! Chaos Fanatic has been completed. Never coming back here. We are never coming back here. I didn't actually think we would uh, get it this early. We got super lucky with the shards. Let's have a look here. Shard number one. Uh, shard number two and Odium Shard one. The goal we have left right now is to obtain the Malediction Shard three by going to Scorpia. For those of you who are not familiar with Scorpia, this is potentially the scariest boss to do in the wilderness because it's in the multi and it's far away from an escape. So if a team catches me here, there's almost no chance for me to survive. That will be kill count number one at Scorpia. For a clue scroll, that's the casket, and we get... Oh, that's a lot of firelighter! Why did I open it in, in a Trana? I needed the hide de boots! Oh, I completely forgot about that. Purple sweeps are actually coming in handy here. Can eat them up, heal some health, and get it some run energy. Alright, kill count 22 for our rune to H. Lag, 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 lag. Oh my god, the lag! Servers are so bad right now. And this kill is going to give me 87 magic. Oh, the notification didn't show up. And that will be kill count 50. We are now officially 
on the boss high scores for Hardcore Iron Man. Right, this will be my final Scorpia kill. I never really understood how expensive it was doing Scorpia. The drops are so bad besides this one, Rune 2 H, very good drop. But it costs a lot, especially with Ancients. This will be my first logout. And if we update the high scores for Scorpia, you can see my name all the way on the bottom. Rank 23. Only 23 people have killed 50 or more Scorpia in the entire game as a hardcore Iron Man. So I feel very proud being on this list. That's 100 kill count at Scorpia. Look at him. While I'm buying runes. I killed a rune crafting bot. I actually did it. I killed another rune crafting bot. Anything? Anything? Hey, we got an Odium shard. Let's go, baby. We only need one more shard from here. Ah, oh, yes. I feel so good right now. I really want the Malediction shard, though. That's the shield I want most. What the hell was that? El Matador. That's the first person I've seen in 130 kill count at Scorpia. Oh, no! It's another Odium shard at 200 kill count. Oh, not the third one! No! Third Odium shard. I'm getting so unlucky right now. And that's 88 magic. Okay, let's celebrate 88 magic with a shard. That would be fantastic, right? That would be amazing. An amazing way to. Yes! We're done! We are actually done! 267 kill count at Scorpia! And we got the malediction shard, let's go baby! We got it just over drop rate as well. Yes, we are done.